around here too, Roy. You'll just never know how we... Oh. Uh, Roy, that's just some extra help that I hired so cheap I couldn't afford not to. Really. Well, they're certainly well fed. He had a great big... Oh. Well, Mr. Rogers, Cookie promised to introduce us after we took our nap. Didn't you, Cousin Cookie? Cousin Cookie, huh? I guess I can't deny him, Roy, and runs in the family. That's Alf and Luke and Grover Bullfinger. Cookie, if you don't quit hiring your relatives... Well, Roy, after their mama died, and we'll never be able to see you. I know. By the way, Cookie, did you ever hire that horse trader I asked you about? Huh? Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Roy, now that's something else I wanted to talk to you about. It was, oh, look at that. There's a little Bob. <laughs> 
Hey, that bus has been rounding up range horses is over in the north pasture. Oh, who is it, Cookie? Oh, some strangers butchering up them range horses for meat and hides. That's what happened to the buffalo. Yeah, but this is legal and it's hurting our army contract. It isn't legal if it's on our range. We well, better get over and see if there's no double our horses this bunch. so bad. Come on now, on your feet. You need to rest your belts back out on range. Come on, fella.
took a licking. That's Roy Rogers and Trigger. I read the movie that Cena Roy would sell him for a million dollars. Yeah, I know that. Get on your horse. and the manly art of self-defense, too. Where were you? Just watching. Or you were a sucker for those and laughs. Yes, sir, we can use that for money. Yeah, yeah, now, fellas. Hey, you're getting awful touchy. Well, I'm sore. Where were you when I was taking that beating? Yeah. If we lose that herd, the hide contract is gone and so is the money. Oh, take it easy. We're going to do something about it. But what about the horses? We'd better round them up before Rogers gets everybody thinking his way and they run us out. Range horses? Well, that's just chicken feed. What I'm thinking about now is one horse. Yeah, but Rogers. The boy Rogers. I'm the smartest horse in pictures. Say. Get that flea bitten Australian coyote out of here. Tramp, come here. Haven't I told you not to come in here when we're busy? I know, but it's way past lunchtime and I'm hungry. We should stop something to eat. Hey, come on, Tramp. Here, come back here with that. That dog steals everything around here. I can't even find my no sales staff anymore. Let me handle this. Told you before, take him out and get rid of him before I do it for you. Don't make him up stealing, Lige. He'll learn. So take him out and get rid of him. Sure, Lige. Sure. Between that dog and that stepson of yours, my patience is wearing out. Well, don't worry about him. I'm shipping him off pronto. I hope he didn't hear that crack about Trigger. Well, Junior, you look nice enough to go to church. Going out of all your clothes. <laughs> She ever seen a movie star? I can sure tell she's your relation. She weighs a ton. Oh, she ain't so big. How old did you say she was? Well, now let's see. When I lived, oh, no, she don't, I don't rightly remember. Really. Well, you know how we tell the ages of horses, don't you? You mean look at her teeth? Right. No. I can't imagine her being afraid of a mouth. Why a bullfinch ain't afraid of anything on four legs? <laughs> Cookie, cousin Cookie, I found a 
and they're all in the barn asleep. Oh, they are, are they? <clears throat> I'll take care of that. A cowboy and a coyote, we are on the western prairie. The cowboy sat a smoking and dreaming about his Mary. The coyote started howling with his nose pointing to the moon. For a while the cowboy listened, then I heard him sing this tune. You're a nice little coyote, you prowl around and howl around the moon. Business deal? Do you generally go around making business deals in one booth? Oh, no. I just listened to the song when Tramp took it. He's always doing things like that. What's the matter, son? You hurt yourself? No, not lately. A horse kicked me two years ago. Doc Richard said I needed an operation. Ryan said my leg will have to get well by itself. Where do you live? Well, right now I found a place I like, got a job. <laughs> that sounds to me like a hint. Well, I thought Mr. Rogers might need an assistant. Somebody has to shine his guns. So that's the business deal. Well, I think maybe we could use another hand and his dog. <laughs> Thanks, Tramp. That is, if he isn't running away from home. How about it, fellas? Well, sure, I heard who is this Lige fellow you spoke about? Well, he's my stepfather. He works for Mr. Jordan down in Saddleback. Catching wild horses, but he won't mind. Well, I'll phone down and see what I can find out. In the meantime, how about some chow, Carolyn? Okay. Dad, you better come along with me. You could stand a little... Well, you know what they say about cleanliness. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rogers. Well, now that you're working for me, just call me Roy. You call me Ted. That's a deal. Come on, Tramp. Maybe we can even find a bone for Tramp. Just like a kid. His step pops like big farm and works for me. Yeah. No, he ain't right now. I'll sure tell him when he comes in. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. Goodbye. That kid of yours up to Rogers Ranch asking for a job. Well, that's the last time you'll pull that trick. I'll go up and get him and give him a town you'll never forget. Just a minute, Lige. You ain't telling nobody. 
We want him to get that job. Whether you know it or not, the Voyager's done us a big favor. Yeah. Maybe he can help us on that Palomino horse trading deal we're thinking about. That's right. Stick around for the big horse race? Who do you think will win? The world's fastest dog or the world's fastest horse? You better bet on my side, Carolyn. Tram told me he was ready. Here's your tram! <laughs> you can be the official starter, Cousin Cookie. Sure, Cousin. Oh, now, wait a minute, Roy. You can tell by looking at him. He's not one of us. We were bigger than that when we were born. Now, get in there and start the race. Go on, go on. Get on your marks. Get fat. Go. Trigger, see, I told you so. Well, Trigger won, but it was fair and square. I'm not mad at you. Come on, Tramp. Come on, Tramp. Tramp, that was a good try. Roy? Mm hmm. You know why Trigger won? Why? Because you can holler, come on, louder than I can. <laughs> Trigger's legs are a little bit longer, too. How about taking a long ride on the winner? Hi, Pop. Roy, boy, I'll be glad to see you back. Good to see you, too, Pop. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Is everything okay? Sure, like. I'm fine. Roy's giving me a job in the ranch. This is, uh, Lige McFarland, the boy's step-top. Hi, how are you? That's mighty nice of you, Mr. Rogers. I'm pretty busy, and Ted and I have been bachelor. Sometimes he gets a little out of line, but if he wouldn't be in your way, always room for one more. You mean I can stay? You're not mad at me for... Run away? No, no. There won't be any more running away, will there, Ted? I'll see that he steps behind his ears. <laughs> you know, that's mighty handsome of you, Miss Carolyn. A woman's influence will probably do the boy a lot of good. So this is the famous trigger. Oh, I won't apologize for that cowpoke of mine slugging that horse. I fired him as soon as I found out about it. Tram! Yeah, you see the mother come back here now. Please, Pop. Please, I'll get him. Do that. Take it easy, Pop. <laughs> Why, he's just a puppy. Let him have his fun. Be a good boy, Ted. Do it, Mr. Rogers. Tell you. That's your stuff. By the way, you know you're both invited to Roy's anniversary broadcast tonight, don't you? <laughs> we'll be there sure, Miss Caroline. Or bust the sense. Ten years, huh? Boy, we'll put on a wing day. It's so pretty, I kind of hate to cut it. It has indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This beautiful anniversary cake here on the table in front of us is too beautiful to cut. But we've got to get on with the proceedings here. So while the guests in the ranch living room are being served this anniversary cake, we're going to call upon Roy to give us one of the songs that helped make him King of the Cowboys. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Rogers. <laughs> Dust in the skies, dust on the trail, dust in my eyes. Dust, dust. Can't see the sun, can't find my way, but dust has one. 
The cattle and the sheep that are down to sleep seem to realize their fate. The vultures in the sky, though the time is high, will they fly away or wait? That's a pretty good-sized piece of cake you got there. Yeah, you ought to get yourself some. Yeah, we will. Say, where'd you get that fancy shirt? Oh, it's Roy's. He loaned it to me for the party. He says I'll grow into it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fit deep. Let's grab us some. Huh? I bet you triggered my son. Let's go see.
The search for Trigger is being continued by plane, automobile, and horse, and the sheriff has announced that no stone will be left unturned in the hunt. Although it is feared the Trigger has been stolen and may be held for ransom, no contact has yet been made with the abductors. They'll be contacted soon enough. You let them steal their own juice for a while. <laughs> As the feller says, that ought to do it. We got Trigger. You can have him back for $100,000. A dead horse is no good to you or me. Have money in small bills. Instructions will follow. Act fast and don't fool him around. Sounds like it, Rose. Sure, that's the way we want to sound. Might as well bring him in. It's no use in watching any longer. I guess we're safe now. somebody that knows us pretty well. It was such a smooth job. They must have been watching us all the time. If we had just one clue, if Ted had gotten there a second sooner, he could have had a good look at them. Yeah. How was it, kid? Not so good. He had quite a scare. He wouldn't go to bed till I told him what was in the ransom note. Then the part about Trigger really upset him. Maybe I'd better go have a talk with him. Anything, anything at all. Don't be afraid to tell me. I will. I want to tell the truth. Sure you do. If everybody tell the truth, this would be a much better world to live in. You try to go to sleep. Sure, right. Don't worry about a thing. If they're not worried, or they wouldn't be singing.
shadow's little saddle fell. For your work's over for another day. Dream about a golden palomino. Taken you to never, never land. Thanks for the help, fellas. Did the trick. <laughs> Made me sleepy, too. Think I'll turn in and save my strength for tomorrow. Yeah, me, too. Don't anybody move. Nobody's going to get hurt. I just want to talk to you. What about? I know where a trigger is. Trigger? It won't cost you $100,000 to find out. Ten thousand's my price. How can you prove it? I thought you'd ask that. Take a look at this. Doesn't necessarily prove anything. A lot of horses have white manes and tails. Where is he? First, the ten thousand. Okay, you'll get it. The first. <laughs> Because it was double crossing. Double crossing who? I wish I knew. But we haven't got a chance at. Morning, John. You're right on time. You've been sitting here all night? No, I trust the bars on the window and the burglar alarm. Well, I guess that hundred thousand in the vault would buy the place. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> Get yourself an ice cream cone. Thanks, Roy. Come on, Tramp. Oh, it's you again. Ice cream. Ice cream. Hi, Pop. Howdy, son. Where's Roy? Oh, hi, Lunch. He just went in the bank. Somebody shot Ed last night up at the ranch. Well, you don't say. Yeah. He was just about to tell us where Trigger was, but he shot him in the back. You supposed to hurt Trigger? Oh, as long as they get the money, I think the horse will be safe. If they don't, it'll probably be the end of them. Well, Roy's in the bank now getting $100,000. Well, in that case, Ted, you ain't got anything to worry about. Sit on Pappy's knee and I'll tell you all about him. You see, it's like this. Roy goes into the bank, gets the hundred thousand dollars, gives it to these folks, and figures out the Sure. That's all they gotta do is give the money to the people that did this. Did they treat me all right up there, Ted? Sure, Lodge. Well, that's good. If they don't, you just let me know. Come on, Tramp. Beautiful, beautiful. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Roy. I guess you can see I got the money. Yeah, the studio shipped it in last night by special messenger. My duty to check up on things like that. Going someplace? Mm-hmm. Taxpayers think it's a good idea if I went along for protection. Well, I'm a taxpayer, and I think it's a pretty good idea, too. Let's go. Cool. There's Pop Jones. 
yard and sell ice cream cones now? No, Roy. I wasn't hungry. So I went over to say hello to Pop and Mike. Oh? Well, come on, get in. Hi, Carolyn. Yeah, I'm sure I'm missing my big opportunity. I was going to sell Roy a song for his next picture, but Trigger's got me so upset that boots and saddles just sound like a lot of work. Sounded kind of pretty to me. Hey, here's something that came in the mail that looks plenty interesting. Carefully, be at Twin Rocks tomorrow to sign up with money. Put in saddlebags, turn horse loose. If you follow, you will be shot, and so will Trigger. Well, at least Trigger's safe. We know what to do. Yes, if you can believe them. I'll sure be glad to see that horse again. You see, Ted, by tomorrow we'll have Trigger back. I think the money will be safe here till tomorrow, Sheriff. If anything goes wrong, I'll give you a buzz. If I were you, Roy, I wouldn't bother. But we're going to forget about this ransom note and not pay the money. No, wait a minute, Sheriff. Trigger means more to me than any amount of money. I'm sorry, Roy, but there's more to this than just getting Trigger back. A man's been murdered, and there may be more. That money stays right where it is. There's still law and order in this county, and the apprehension of murderers and blackmailers come first. Can't you see if we let this bunch of outlaws get away with this? It will only serve to encourage them and others to pull the same trick again. No one will be safe. But these men are dangerous. They'll kill Trigger if they don't get their money. Yeah, but the money... Shh. Naturally, I'm going to do all I can to prevent that. And I'll need help from all of you. I think you can count on us. I'm sorry, Sheriff. I guess I just didn't realize. You know how much Trigger means to me. But if that's the way you want it, that's the way it's got to be. What's your plan? That's the spirit. Round with your boys and have them meet me here tonight. Now, here's the plan I have in mind. So by daylight tomorrow morning, we'll all be staked out in a big circle around Twin Rocks. When Roy turns the horse loose with the fake money, one of us will be able to keep her eye on him at all times without following him and jeopardizing Trigger. Give the horse a good start, then follow him at a safe distance. If anything happens, fire a shot, and we'll all come running. Understood? Mm -hmm. All right, saddle up. Roy, don't forget your little package. I don't want it. Hey, Pat, saddle up for me, will you? Package of fake money you asked me to make up is in the drawer. You got time to try a chorus? Why not? Say, but ain't it peaceful out tonight? Say, but ain't the moon shining bright? Robins in his nest and the clowns beside the bed. Shadows come and go by the western green and blue. Under California's stars, 
That's all right. Did you really like the song, Roy? Song? Sure, sure. Did you like it enough to use it in your next picture? No, it wasn't bad. Oh, gee, then you'll use it. Oh, that's swell. Well, wait a minute. Who wrote it? A relative. A cousin of mine by the name of Bullfincher. Cookie Bullfincher. I enjoyed that, Roy. Gee, it was beautiful. You think so, huh? Oh, oh, yeah. You're fired. Oh, Roy, you can't fire me. My cousins won't let you. And besides, what for? For writing songs on ranch time. You little tattletale, I'll get you. Roy, honest, I did it on spare time, so help me, I did. From now on, you'll have a lot of spare time. Oh. In Hollywood, writing songs for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Cookie, Cookie, come to you. You're going to be famous. Oh. 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 Hollywood, swimming pool, lights, and girls. Yeah. We better get started. Oh, we'll get the paper. I get a block packed in my back. My hat, my hat, my hat.
Pat should have been here a long time ago. We better get Trigger inside. I guess we had. Hey, fellas, give us a hand. Bring some rope from the whip. smarter than that knowing we still got trigger. But we won't have long because now they force us to get rid of him. Looks like something's going to cut out of here. The ransom note.
hospitalized, you stole the trigger and killed him, all right. Trent must have taken this from Pop's office the day Ted went to visit him. That was the day I picked up the money at the bank. So now they have trigger and the hundred thousand dollars. And the kid's gone. There's no doubt about that. But why did he leave Trent? I don't know. They were pretty smart, sending the boy here to spy on you. And then when he saw how things were going, skip up with the money. Tramp seems to think you're wrong, Sheriff. What are we going to do now? Wait for another contact. That's all we can do. We're not waiting for anything, Sheriff. Tramp, you never left Ted for anything unless you went to steal something. Now go find him for me, will you? Go find him.
Oh, boy. We're sure glad to see you, Trigger. We've got a hurry. We've got a date on the North Train. <laughs> Too bad a kid like Ted had to get himself mixed up with a no-good guy like you. Just, just a minute, young fella. Huh? Attaboy, Bob. Now, Bob, let him have it. Sure, I'll let him have it. Just... <laughs> 